Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And it is time for another mail day and I've got like a pretty big package in the mail. So uh, this is sent to me by Petra from Belgium uh, and it's pretty cool. You know, she contacted me, she said, you know, I want to send something for your mail day videos. I'm like, yeah, of course, go ahead. So this is it, it's in this pack of no idea what it is. I assume it must be something magic related. Uh, maybe cool to note is that this is the king of Belgium and this is a duck. No idea how they are related, but here you go. So now you know what the king of Belgium looks like and we're gonna open it up here. I think we're supposed to, oh wait, 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 here's like an opening. We rip it open. Oh, so Beta, thank you very much for sending this over. I really appreciate it. It's just always great when people send you things. And, ooh, this looks cool. Okay, so always check, right? And yes, it's absolutely empty. And we've got a pretty cool card. Greetings from Genk. And Genk, it's actually quite a nice city. Um, I celebrated New Year's Eve in your city once. It's quite nice. Belgium in general has a lot of really fun cities and they're really beer lovers. So if you enjoy quality beers, Vlaanderen, you know, the Dutch speaking part of Belgium is really the place where you want to go. I'm just going to check if there are no personal details on here. Okay, so let's have a look. Hi, Thomas. Uh, we saw that um, you had Fallen Empires tokens, but they were loose. I'm just translating it because it's in Dutch. With this sheet is your Fallen Empires collection complete. Oh, that is sweet. Greetings from Belgium. That is really sweet. That is, and she's saying maybe you can kind of inform the audience about this. And wow, really? This is, the, the thing is these tokens, if they're in here, and I'm sure they are, because that's what, what, what Petra has put in this, in, in, in this postcard is, um, they added the, the tokens of Fallen Empire in one of the, um, uh, in, in, in the dual list, I believe. You know what? We're just going to open it up. I'm getting excited now. This is really something special. Uh, okay, so let's have a look. So first off, we have this beautiful box, it seems, of Fallen Empires. Now, I've got two boxes of my own, but they're really damaged. I actually got them um, from friends after an opening, but this seems to be a real a box in really good condition. I'm just gonna, wow, absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. <laughs> Petra, you're making me really happy with this. I love, I love, I love stuff like this. Wow. I mean, it's, it's in pretty good condition. If you can just consider how old these boxes are. I mean, this is this is 1994 when Fallen Empires came out. And maybe it's nice to know about Fallen Empires is one of the reasons this set actually failed uh, was, well, actually it didn't fail, but the reason that people didn't like it was that um, First off, it was underpowered when you compare it to the sets that came before. I mean, think of Arabian Nights, you know, think of Unlimited, the dual lands, the power, you know, all that and more. Um, but another reason was when store owners used to order magic product, they would only get about, you know, 10% of the order, maybe 25% of the order if they were lucky. So when Fallen Empires came out, people were kind of used to ordering 10 times more than they actually wanted to, only expecting to get 10% of the order. Now then the weird thing happened, everything they ordered actually came through. So they paid the full the full cost and they got all the boxes. So everybody had a humongous amount of Fallen Empire boxes. And that kind of took away from the, uh, the speciality of, of the set, right? Because usually this, the, the new sets were very scarce to get. Uh, but that wasn't the case with Fallen Empires and, and that already kind of set the tone for the set. So we've got this and then we have, yes. Wow, this is so cool. This is so cool. Oh, 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 oh. Unbelievable, unbelievable. 
This is really nice. So this is a special edition um, from the magazine, and it's not the Duelist, as you can see. And it says, includes free Magic the Gathering creature tokens. And those creature tokens are the creature tokens that you need for Fallen Empires. I'm just going to show it. I'm not going to open this up. I want to keep this mint to be part of my Fallen Empires collection. And here you actually see the tokens. Oh, and they're different. They're not the ones I have. These are others. Tokens. Wow. Tokens and counters for use with Magic the Gathering. So cool. In all honesty, I didn't know these existed because I was talking about different tokens earlier. Um, you know what? I'm just going to pause the video for a moment and I'm going to look up the tokens that I have because it's in the cupboard behind me, but I just got to kind of find the, find the right binder. So I'll be right back and then I'll show you the tokens that I was talking about. But this is absolutely stunning. Thank you so much for this, Petra. This is, uh, this is amazing. Okay, I'm back. I did some research. <laughs> because believe it or not, I don't know everything about magic, but it all came back to me. It makes absolute sense. So this is Armada. This is not a magazine. This is a comic book, and this is the second in the series. You'll have a first edition, or uh, actually comic number one, and this is comic number two, and they're all about the fallen empires. Um, and yeah, wow. Actually, ah, oh man. Part of me kind of wants to open it. Look at that art. I mean, I want to see what else is in there. Okay, but I'm just going to I'm going to keep it closed for now. I first want to show you the tokens that I was talking about. So you had Duelist. I believe it was Duelist number four that had a Fallen Empires booster pack in there. And um, it also had the tokens that you could use for Fallen Empires. And this is the binder where I have my part of my Fallen Empire collection in. And I actually have a video if you want to see like the full collection, if you're interested in that. But for now, it might be nice to kind of show you those tokens. So I'm just going to pick the camera up. So here you see the tokens. And as you can see, they're separate. So obviously, when you have that original Duelist magazine, um, you kind of have the whole sheet. So they're together as a sheet. So there's a lot of glare here, but it's still kind of clear. So one of the things that Fallen Empire is famous for is the fact that it's really a token set, it's a counter set, and you have to understand it was one of the first sets that really had counters and tokens as a big theme. It was unheard of in, in those days, and it's one of the reasons why I think Fallen Empire is just underappreciated, because it had such a big impact on the game and, and the way the game is designed today. I mean, you see tokens and 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 um encounters in every set nowadays but back then it was really rare a rare sight um so these for example let's see let's try to you know i'll just take one out and show you these were the tokens of back in the day you know they're really quite small and uh i'll show you the other side they had two tokens on both sides like this for example is a soldier token it's really cool isn't it and there's just a lot of detail in this really small kind of drawings. And this would be your token. It's not like now where you get like a full magic card being representing a token. You had this or just had the glass beads, right? That a lot of people used to use and that I actually still use. So it's pretty cool. You know, it's um, it's quite unique. And when I, when I saw this, I actually thought that um, it was Duelist number four um, because... I wasn't aware that these tokens also existed. So these are obviously different than the tokens that I already have. So this is really an addition to my collection. It is really, really cool. And Petra, thank you so much for just, you know, sending this out to me. I mean, yeah, it's 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 great. You know, it's um I know I've said it so many times, but the old school magic community just keeps keeps amazing me for their they're so generous and um the same thing happens whenever you go to an old school tournament, at least here in, in the EU, you know, especially in the Netherlands, people give you a beer, people welcome you, it's 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 always a friendly 
a friendly atmosphere in all all the old school tournaments here in the Netherlands and, and in all the old school tournaments I visited outside of the Netherlands as well. So that's one of the reasons why I love, you know, old school magic so much. No matter what kind of rule set you play, proxies or no proxies, uh, pfft, if you play tier one decks or tier three decks, it just it's the atmosphere for me that makes that makes it such a special you know, community and, and, and fun to still play it, actually. That's the reason why I still play Magic today. Um, anyway, this was my mail day video of today. Uh, once again, a big thank you to Petra. This is absolutely stunning. I'm so going to enjoy this. Um, and also, I would like to uh, thank you for uh, watching another video right here on Timmy Talks. And if you'd like to help out, help the channel grow, you can leave a like. And of course, you can subscribe and you can ring the bell. There's a pretty cool animation going off right now. Um, and uh, what else you can do is actually you can become a patron uh, if you really want to support me financially as well and help me, uh, you know, keep the channel afloat. And you can do that by uh, by joining the Timmy Talks Patreon, a patron program on Patreon, I should say. There's probably a link popping up right now, so you can click there. That'll take you to the Timmy Talks Patreon page. And the cool thing is, uh, I am about to um, to organize an Ice Age tournament that's going to happen in December. So if you're an Ice Age fan, uh, yeah, you could uh, consider joining the Patreon program uh, because I organize special tournaments to thank my channel members and patrons for their support. So it's really something I do on top of the content I make just to thank the people that, you know, also support me financially and um yeah, wow. And then you also have great fans like like Peter who just send me these beautiful things. And uh, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, this is the um, this is the mail day for today, I guess. That's what I want to say. Now, let's go to the end scroll. Let's take a look at all the amazing, fantastic, wunderbar patrons and channel members of Timmy Talks. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Ik het dus, ik het dus, somber gezien.